Right then everyone, so I'm just here in our mongoose enclosure. They're just behind me here. The ones that flat out on the rocks over there. And then we've got Masai just here who is helping himself to his ice block that Kate very lovingly prepared for them yesterday. So we made the ice blocks for the meerkats, the mongoose and also the porcupines. They've got some frozen bits of apple as well. So I'm going to pass them out to them now and see what they think. So Masai clearly already likes his. Um, but before I do so, I just thought I'd mention that some of you might be thinking that, well, you know, animals like meerkats, mongoose, porcupines, they're from Africa, so shouldn't they be okay with this nice hot weather? So they are, so obviously their physiology is designed to be adapted to this nice hot weather. But we have to remember they were all born in the UK, so they're not from Africa itself. They were all born in the UK, so they are acclimatised to our usual cooler weather. Today it's over 30 degrees, I think at the moment it's about 33, so really, really hot. It's not even reached dinner time yet. So I'm going to pass these ice pops out and we'll have a little look at them and see what they get up to. Okay everyone, so I've just stepped out of the enclosure. The mongoose were just a little bit wary of me. They thought I was up to no good trying to get close to them to film them. So I'm just on the outside now and here's Macambo with his ice pop and as you can see he's absolutely loving it. So the mongoose do have very strong claws and strong jaws as well so it shouldn't take him very long to dig into the middle of these. They are designed for eating eggs, birds eggs and they do know how to smash those against rocks so these little ice pops shouldn't be too difficult for them. So Kate's mixed their natural diet, what we would normally scatter for them, into the ice block. So they've got cat biscuits in there, I'm sure she showed you. They've got the uh, veg in there as well. So lots of tasty goodies, and as you can see, he's digging away at it to try and get through. Masai did take his into, into the tube, so he's in one of his den boxes enjoying his. He did take his away in the, uh, in the plastic cup, but don't worry about that. I can fetch that out later. He'll leave that alone. He'll just want the food that's inside, so that's not a problem. We'll retrieve it later on when he's left it alone. But yeah, so these are a very big hit with the mongoose. So let's head on over to our meerkats and we'll pop theirs in and see what they think. All right, so here we are with the meerkats. So I've spread some of theirs around. I've popped one in the water as well. So I could do a little bit of apple bobbin for it. They do have the usual water drinkers, the refillable water drinkers around the enclosure, but we've added them a little bit of a pool as well. So they can get stretched out in this if they want to. And looks like they're enjoying them as well. So just like the mongoose, the meerkats have very strong claws and teeth as well. Again, designed for breaking into things like eggs and also scorpions as well. So we should make light work of these ice pops. So as I was saying, just as important to keep these more tropical animals nice and cool. So these ice, po these ice pops work really well for doing that. That one's found a little mealworm in that one. The meerkats, unlike the mongoose, they like to investigate things together, so they'll work as a team if there's anything novel, whereas the mongoose, they prefer to keep things to themselves, they'll get their own portion and keep it away from each other, so that's one of the main differences between them, I would say, when we give them new things. This one's Ringo here, our alpha male. He tends to let his boys get in there first and he'll potter over a little bit later on. So these are a big success, I would say. So well done, Kate, for making these. Meerkats absolutely love them. So lastly, she made those frozen bits of apple for the porcupine. So we will head over and put those in. I doubt we will, we've got a leaf on your nose. I doubt we will see them come out for him, but let's head in and have a little look. All right, so as suspected, the porcupines are still in bed, but that's okay. That's fully what I expected. They are nocturnal animals, so they're going to wait until it's a lot later on to bob out and have a look at what we've put in for them. But as you can see behind me, they do have this little pool here and I've popped their frozen bits of apple in there and also scattered some around as well. Now those will have probably defrosted by the time Spike and Winnie venture out, but that's fine. With the porcupines, even though they are nocturnal and we don't see them really much during the day at all, it's still important to give them this enrichment as it's for them, keeps them nice and stimulated and keeps them entertained so it's not just for us to watch them so they'll come out and enjoy this later on i'm sure they did have some potatoes in this yesterday which were all gone today so they definitely went in that so hopefully they'll, they'll enjoy it again tonight so that's it for our ice enrichment for some of our smaller animals today 
I hope you've enjoyed it, watching it and seeing what we get up to in terms of our enrichment here. We do do lots of different things for them. It's really important, as I've said many, many times, just to keep them nice and active, keep the brains going, keep them thinking, using all the different senses. Um, you provide enrichment to get the animals to show those natural behaviours they would show in the wild as well, so to promote lots of different things. So this is what we do here for them at the farm. So thank you very much, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed it and stay tuned for some more. This hot weather is due to stay, so I'm sure we'll be doing lots of other different things for some of the other different animals. So thank you, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.